hey guys in today's video i thought it would be fun to share with you guys some skincare products that i have been using really enjoying and loving all of which contain peptides if you are new here welcome but if you've watched any number of my videos you know i often incorporate peptides into my skincare routine what are peptides they are short chains of amino acids or basically the building block of proteins and when applied to the skin, they can help hold on to water in the skin. They act as humectants. And there are some small studies, although the jury's still out, that show that these compounds, these peptides, can actually get into the skin and stimulate cells to produce more collagen and help smooth out wrinkles and fine lines and also help promote skin hydration at a deeper level and overall better skin barrier function, which are things that I'm really looking for in my skincare routine. I like to keep it simple. I like to keep it focused and minimal. And I always go into my skincare routine with the aim of keeping my skin barrier healthy so I don't have dry skin or irritation. And of course, obviously during the day, protecting my skin from the sun. Now, when I say the jury's still out on peptides, remember the data is pretty small showing that they do in fact get into the skin and do these things like stimulate collagen production. And so they have an anti-aging benefit, but I wanna make it clear, these are not like retinoic acid, AKA tretinoin. That is the kingpin in terms of anti-aging and these pale in comparison as far as the data for use in anti-aging or for skin benefit. But there is enough data and I have to say, just my personal experience using them, I do appreciate benefit in skin smoothness and overall better hydration when I incorporate them into my skincare routine. One product that I actually just finished up and repurchased, I enjoyed it that much, um, is one you guys have been telling me to try out for a while now, and I finally tried it. It's The Ordinary's The Buffet. This is a really nice peptide serum. Um, I um, it has peptides in it, of course, which will help in smoothing out wrinkles with long-term consistent use. And the way to use this is after you cleanse the skin, while the skin is still damp, go ahead and apply a few drops to like your palm and pat it into your skin. And then you wanna just apply a moisturizer on top. It's best to apply a moisturizer on top because this type of product mostly focuses on holding hydration into your skin. Those peptides are gonna get into the skin while the stratum corneum is hydrated um, better. Um, but in order to really trap all that in, it's, it's good to come on afterwards with your moisturizer. It also has amino acids in it. Now, amino acids are the building blocks of peptides, but amino acids by themselves are actually part of your skin's natural moisturizing factor. And when applied topically, the skin can help really with focusing on good barrier restoration. And I also like this because it has lactococcus ferment lysate in it. I've talked about ferments in other videos before, but the fermentation process helps in enriching for more amino acids and hydrating ingredients and antioxidants that can have an anti-inflammatory effect when applied topically. Um, so that's, that's one of the basic backbone ingredients in this, along with hyaluronic acid, a wonderful you know, baseline humectant for holding onto water. Long story short, I have obviously really enjoyed this so much so that I repurchased it. It's really affordable, it's fragrance free, cruelty free. A benefit of incorporating peptides into your skincare routine is better skin hydration and skin barrier function. Even if they don't actually get into your skin, although we, we do have data showing that they do, even if they don't, they hold water in the skin and in doing so really help support the natural hydration and moisture of the skin barrier, an ideal skin barrier function. One thing that will destroy your skin barrier very quickly is excessive use of soap, or detergents, it strips away the natural lipids, leads to a lot of dryness. But we need soap for washing our hands. And now more than ever, we are washing our hands like crazy and going into cold and flu season, we're gonna be washing our hands even more. Very important for hand hygiene and reducing the transmission of cold and flu viruses. But it dries out your hands to death. Um, so you really need to be applying a good moisturizer. I've got tons of videos on hand creams that I love. You guys know I am a huge fan of Necessaire. I use the sex gel in my nose to reduce nosebleeds. I found that that works actually quite well for me. I 
as a side note, get nose bleeds a lot. And their body serum is fantastic. It's really great. You can use it on the face even. I love it. Um, they came out with a hand cream that I've been using over the past six weeks and I love it. They're actually sponsoring this portion of today's video. And so check the description box below. I have a discount code for you guys if you are at all interested in trying this out. But it's really wonderful. It's a nice, rich, moisturizing cream. It has a peptide in it that supports skin barrier recovery. It also has shea butter in it, which is very um, occlusive for sealing in water into your skin and keeping the skin hydrated. In addition to shea butter, it has niacinamide, an ingredient that's phenomenal for encouraging skin barrier repair and healing. And it also has squalane in it, a lightweight emollient oil that absorbs very quickly into the skin while smoothing down rough skin edges. It also has marula oil in it, or sclerochyra beria, I think is how you say it. Uh, a plant-derived oil that's rich in antioxidants and can smooth down skin cell edges and really help facilitate recovery from environmental stressors, including hand washing. The cream is fragrance-free, of course, like I love. I mean, actually, as a side note, uh, for dealing with dry hands, definitely, definitely want to go fragrance-free because your skin barrier is super impaired with all the dryness from hand washing. The last thing you want to do is put fragrance on raw red skin. But I just love this formulation. It's really thick, but it absorbs into the skin quickly so that you don't have a greasy residue. I love using this at nighttime before I go to bed, give myself a little hand massage. It's very relaxing. I keep it actually, I keep this one by my desk here. So at night when I'm editing, I like to slather it on and then I have one right by my bed and before I go to bed at night I like to put it on my hands. Yeah, Necessaire has so many fantastic products and this new hand cream is a win by them. You can tell they really put a lot of thought into what consumers would need given all the hand washing that we're doing. Uh, they really selected ingredients that are going to facilitate skin barrier recovery and help with the health and hydration of people's hands. And it sustains the biggie mug test. See, my hands are, aren't so greasy that the mug slides out. I'm able to hold on to it. That's what really matters. Can I continue to grip my biggie mug of caffeine? <laughs> All right, moving on. The next product, I mentioned this in my cruelty-free favorites video of recommendations. At that time, I had just been trying it out over the prior several weeks of that video, but I've continued to use it. It's Dermatology's new peptide cream. This is really a nice moisturizing cream for your face. It has a whipped consistency, which I really like, and it is not greasy. In comparison though to their neck cream, which is also very good, they have a peptide neck cream. Uh, this, is, this is more lightweight. The peptide neck cream, which I have here, is a lot thicker. Both products are really good. Here, I'll just slather a little on my neck here. We're just looping up left and right here in this video. Um, yeah, uh, both products are fantastic. They have peptides in them that can help with boosting up collagen production. And I've been actually using this neck cream for a long time now. And I only use just, you only need like two tiny pea-sized pumps of it. It lasts forever. I mean, I'm never, it's gonna take me forever to get through this uh, for my neck but it really does smooth out those fine wrinkles. At least in my anecdotal experience using this, I have definitely appreciated an overall smoothing out of the fine wrinkles on my neck. I like using this and I use it or I use those CO neck patches and I think the combination of just using those two things, I alternate them. Again, the neck cream is a lot thicker, but both have peptides that are good for boosting up collagen production and hydrating the skin. The night cream, though, what I was going to say about this is that it has ceramides in it, which will help with skin barrier function as well. Just putting ceramides on the skin can help your skin say, hey, let's start to repair the skin barrier even better.
both of the dermatology products, the night cream and then the age reversal neck cream, they have shea butter in them, which like I said, with the necessary hand cream, great ingredient for, for the skin barrier and for just sealing in trans epidermal water loss. I will say too, with the neck cream, I believe a good portion, a part of why I think it works so well for blurring necklines is that it has silicones in them, is in it. It has uh, dimethicone in it. Dimethicone can have a nice blurring effect, which for cosmetic reasons is, is nice just to kind of instantly smooth things out. But uh, yeah, that, that product, the neck cream, I, I'm pretty impressed with it. I've been using it for a long time now and I think it's a good one. I use that and I also use those CO neck patches and I have really detected a noticeable improvement just in the fine lines and wrinkles on my neck and the tech neck issue has improved uh, a little bit. I mean, I won't overstate it, but I definitely see a little bit of an improvement using those products. You have peptides uh, and you also have copper peptides. How do they differ? Well, copper is an ingredient that's important in how collagen is made in our skin. And the copper is also an antioxidant and has wound healing properties to it. So copper peptides uh, with the addition of copper have those added benefits and they can help guide cells to begin making more collagen as well as moisturizing factors for the epidermis and then hydration factors for the deeper layers of the skin. Um, now a product I am almost finished with is the Pyongkang Yule Intensive Repair Cream. This is another cruelty free favorite and it has ceramides in it. It also has a copper peptide for boosting up collagen production and firming the skin. It's fragrance free. So if you're looking for a good facial moisturizer with peptides, you really can't go wrong with either the Dermatology uh, Peptide Night Cream or the Pyongkang Yule Intensive Repair Cream. Both cruelty free, fragrance free. This, however, has the Dermatology one has more of a whipped consistency and kind of a slightly more lightweight feel to it. Whereas the Intensive Cream by Pyongkang Yule is a lot, it's, it's more of a heavy moisturizer. So if you, going into winter, this is gonna be a really good one to consider, especially for the dryness. But for some people with oily skin, you may find that this is just a little bit too much. But I have really, really enjoyed it and it has a copper peptides for facilitating healing and recovery. Yeah, great product. Pyongkang Yule, another, another favorite brand here. All right, those are products that I've been using, loving, that contain peptides, really geared towards skin barrier repair, healing, recovery, hydration, skin firmness, and wrinkle smoothing overall. Um, but I just got um, a product, I bought this, um, it's by Neod. I've never used any skincare product from Neod. I've used products by The Ordinary, and both brands are you know, under the same umbrella company. But I've never, used, I've never tried anything Neod before, and you guys have been asking me to review some Neod products. So I got this because uh, it's a copper amino isolate serum. This is really interesting because when you're ready to use it, you go ahead and add the um, copper amino isolate, the activator, which is basically the copper, or you're gonna add it to the, um, to the serum and really what that does is convert the peptides over to copper peptides and you have a 1% copper peptide serum. So I look forward to trying this. I have not tried it yet. Um, it's uh, fragrance free and what else does it have besides the copper peptides in the vehicle? Um, it also has a hyaluronate cross polymer. I imagine that will add a little bit of extra hydration. Yeah, I really look forward to trying this out. I also purchased a few other things from Neod. So comment below on, you know, I plan to review this for you guys, but comment below if you'd like um, some more Neod reviews in the future. I would be happy to share those. I look forward to trying these out. If you've used this, let me know. Did you like it? Um, so let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. But yeah, I will list all of these down below. And again, if you are at all interested in the Necessaire hand cream, 
definitely take advantage of the uh, discount code. Thank you, Necessaire, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.